choosing a honeymoon location. Oh, that can be fraught with danger. There is so much pressure to get the location and the atmosphere right. But for this travel reporter, it was a piece of cake. In fact, I knew the place before I'd even found the man. It's true. Long before a question had been popped. The moment that I saw these waters, I just knew if anyone is ever crazy enough to ask me to marry them, it's Achutaki all the way. This heavenly South Pacific bubble is in the Cook Islands, a 50-minute flight from Rarotonga, the capital. It sits on arguably the world's most beautiful lagoon. No argument from me, though. It's the lagoon that I first fell in love with, along with my fella, of course. Your own private paradise, just a two-minute boat ride from the mainland. Now this is honeymoon heaven, and if you really want to splurge, the Royal Honeymoon Villa at the Achutaki Lagoon Resort is top of the line. The chief who discovered this island was called Ru. I probably shouldn't mention this during a romance story, but he actually brought with him from the mainland 24 maidens and four wives. Clearly, this is someone who really felt the love. They named this villa after his favourite wife, Tiaru. It is the most lovely, secluded haven, all of your very own, complete with everything you could possibly desire. Daybed, indoor and outdoor showers, spa, dining area, and of course, your private plunge pool. For the die-hard water lovers, there are overwater bungalows. Personally, we divided our time between the two. I just couldn't decide. When I signed up for an island holiday, I thought I'd be happy to just flake. But then I saw the activities list and I signed us up for everything. We're talking night snorkeling, traditional hat making, cooking classes, fishing expeditions. Let me just show you a double. few of my favourite things. And another double. And a single. And then single, yeah. Voila! How easy was that? Taste of the Cook Islands right here. Okay. How is it? Fresh, delicious, absolutely beautiful. Well done. <laughs> the water's so blue, the weather's good, and the people. The people are just the most fantastic people you've ever met. Just so friendly. You know, you can hitchhike on the road if you can't get home. It's just gorgeous. Do you think this could be the most romantic island in the world? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's gorgeous. Works mm. for us. <laughs> oh, it's gross. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> on the main island, Pacific Resort is the biggest and definitely one of the ritziest places to stay. How cool is this pool? You want to stay with me in the morning. And of course, if the mood takes you, I you encourage you all the way to give in to temptation and why not get hitched while you're here? Well, we booked the holiday probably about 11 weeks ago mm -hmm. and um, Andrew just said, well, a beautiful place to come to. Shall we get married? <gasps> She's like, why not? <laughs> Every piece of me that wants you. 
Pacific Resort can organise absolutely everything you need. And you get to choose the location. Now, I recommend One Foot Island. Do you, Andrew, take this beautiful young woman, Elizabeth, as your wife? I do. Well done.